Mesopotamian achievements. You are there. Times are changing in Mesopotamia in 2500 BC. You've just loaded newly harvested wheat into your wheeled cart. You hitch your oxen to the cart and head for the place where surplus grain is stored. There, workers load your grain into baskets and weigh it, allowing you to learn exactly how much grain your farm has produced. Afterward, you visit the metal workers' neighborhood to trade some grain for new products. They have sturdy plows, smooth cups, and beautiful ornaments all made of bronze. Everything looks as though it'll last forever. Agricultural Techniques The people of Mesopotamia, especially the Sumerians, are remembered for their many innovations or new ways of doing things. For example, early farmers developed new agricultural techniques such as irrigation, leading to economic surpluses. At first, the Mesopotamians used only simple technology for farming. Early tools, such as sickles and hoes, were made of clay and copper. In time, metal workers started mixing copper with tin to produce bronze, which is much stronger than copper alone. By 2500 BC, many farmers were using bronze tools, such as bronze-tipped plows. With stronger plows, farmers can turn soil more easily, which led to larger fields that produced larger crops. Next, farmers found a way to plow and plant at the same time by attaching a funnel filled with seeds to the plow. As the plow moved along each row, the seeds were released from the funnel. This agricultural technique allowed fewer farmers to plant more crops. The Sumerians even wrote advice for farmers. In Mesopotamia, archeologists have found almanacs written on clay tablets. These writings included information that described the best way to plant, to irrigate land, and to care for crops. One ancient Sumerian almanac contained these instructions. When you are about to cultivate your field, take care to open the irrigation works so that their water does not rise too high in it. Measurements. Growing city-states needed larger farms to feed all the people. Because of this, land became more important than ever to the early Sumerians. City officials wanted to know how much land each farmer used so that they could keep accurate records. Farmers, too, wanted to know how much land they had so that they could clearly mark the boundaries of their farms. These needs led the Sumerians to develop standard measurements of land. One measure of land area was an iku, also known as the ikam, meaning the field. An iku equaled about 37,600 square feet. The idea of the present day acre, which equals 43,560 square feet, comes from the iku. Sumerians also developed standard units of measurements for weight and volume, including the court. They used these units to measure crop harvests and to conduct trade. Farmers no longer had to guess how much wheat or barley they were exchanging for a plow or other product. Measurements required a carefully planned number system. The Sumerians based their number system on the number 60. Our division of time into hours, minutes, and seconds came from this system. The Sumerians even found a way to measure time. By about 2100 BC, the Sumerians counted off days in a year using a 360-day calendar. Building Because southern Mesopotamia had few trees, people used the resource they had plenty of for building, mud. The Sumerians formed bricks out of mud, let them dry, and then used them to build everything from houses to large temples. Most Sumerians lived in simple, flat-roofed mud brick houses. Groups of houses were built close together, all facing an open court. Their thick walls kept them cool in summer and warm in winter. Kings and other people of high rank lived in larger houses of two or more stories. Artists made beautiful clay tile designs to decorate the walls of the houses. The largest and tallest buildings in every city-state was the ziggurat. This temple developed from the simple one-room temples of the Ubayyud culture. 
In describing the city of Ur, archaeologist Leonard Woolley wrote, The outstanding feature of the city Ur was the ziggurat, an artificial mountain. Ziggurats grew as the wealth and power of cities grew. Builders constructed the mud brick ziggurat in layers. Some temples stood as high as seven story buildings. At the top of each ziggurat stood a shrine for the city's special god. Palaces for kings and houses for priests often stood inside a wall that surrounded the ziggurat. Over time, the Sumerians began building smaller buildings along the outside walls of the ziggurat. Some were shops, others were workshops, and still others were homes. Many city states also placed parks near their ziggurat. Soon, the ziggurat and the area around it became the busy center of the city. Today, wind eroded ruins are all that is left of these ancient buildings. Transportation Archaeologists found the world's oldest wheels in Mesopotamia, dating to about 3500 BC. The Sumerians were the first to attach wheels to carts. They built two-wheeled and four-wheeled carts and chariots pulled by oxen or donkeys. For long journeys over land, traders in Mesopotamia led caravans of donkeys. Following the same paths over and over again, they established trade routes. For water travel, the Mesopotamians built various kinds of boats. Their earliest boat was shaped like a basket and built from reeds and covered by animal skins. A mast and sail were in the center of the boat, making it perhaps the world's first sailboat. People also built canoe-shaped boats that they guided with poles. Writing and Literature The Sumerians made the first known written records. The earliest known writing was found on a clay tablet in Kish that dates to about 3500 BC. On the tablet, are picture symbols that recorded trade. Hundreds of clay tablets found at the city of Uruk provide evidence that by 3100 BC, the Sumerians had developed a writing system. This system was based on cuneiform, or wedge-shaped symbols. Each of the 700 symbols stood for a different syllable and was based on a spoken sound. At that time, few people knew how to write. Because of this, scribes, or people who recorded things for others, became important. Scribes used sharp reeds to write in cuneiform on soft clay. Writing made developments of the Sumerian government, economy, and society possible. With writing, scribes recorded boundary lines, wars, lists of kings, and gifts to temples. They also kept records of trade and food supplies. Later, scribes recorded literature, writing down songs and stories. The most famous tale is the Epic of Gilgamesh, a story about legendary King Gilgamesh.